So Bitcoin has seen a very nice move up over the last few days, but it is starting to run into some major resistances. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering said resistances and how I have been trading this. So I hope you thoroughly enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's begin starting with the resistance, I guess. Uh, so it's the focal point of the video. So obviously what we can see is this old support had nicely flipped into resistance at 10,758. OK, this for me is not a major resistance, but obviously for day traders, it's uh, level one would be taking shorts off of for that short you know scalp of the level okay and in the end we got a rejection from just a, under 1.5 percent so it's a decent trade but obviously what we can see here is we are now somewhat consolidating underneath the resistance which one could class as bullish uh but it is a big level so i would be careful like trading this because your next resistance up target is really going to be the 0 0.5 because what you have you obviously have liquidity underneath this wick that's currently we've got uh so about 950 not 10,950 resistance you got the 0 0.5 you got the top of the wick okay and you also have this upward sloping trend line okay which then gives you this somewhat of a rising wedge pattern okay with the, that apex up there so you've, you've got a lot of confluence uh for to find resistance there uh obviously 10,950 okay just below 10,987 okay uh that's where you're starting to run into some major resistances here this is a, a minor one but uh what, what one would expect to see okay is obviously what we can see why did we get this expansion this morning okay what in my opinion it is is you can see the really really wicked level that this was okay so resistance 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 just a lot of wicks onto this level okay a lot of wicks onto it okay what we got this morning was the first candle close above okay first candle close above and then the next hour is where you got that expansion up to your hourly resistance level okay um so yeah that was the close that really powered up this morning uh, but then on the flip side, uh, for if you're looking to get this, if you still want a position but don't, are not comfortable buying at resistance, then uh, one, what one would look for is a drop down into that level or at least the top of the wicks, a drop down into that level to hold it, okay, and then obviously get your expansion then following that, okay. That would obviously be one way to look at this and what i do like about this scenario is you do then have old potential okay there's never a guarantee in trading we have to remember that but the, the potential of getting the old resistance flipping to support supporting that move up along with this upward sloping parallel support line uh, so a nice confluence there of support to trade that back up to really 10.9 um and then going forwards okay so that's that's my plays in the short term i'll be really waiting for an hourly close above uh you know I, i'm personally i'm looking at this bearishly so i'm looking for shorts uh, obviously day trade i'll day trade it long and short I, i'll trade that either way but for midterm i still am looking at this as, as a corrective pattern i, I really would uh, struggle to look at this impulsively okay so i am looking at this as a bearish uh, well somewhat bearish correction okay so i'm laddering in shorts okay and for me the main resistances that i'm looking at obviously we've got this nice sideways channel so if you're just trading the range if you're literally just trading the range then obviously you can be looking for the top of the range but really i could see mid range resistance at 11,016 so 11k and then obviously what's nice is we have this wick here uh, which is going to be 11,072 okay what is really nice about this confluence is just above you have the golden pocket obviously from high to low golden pockets at 11,200 uh, 11,350 let's say so we are running into what I would describe as a very big resistance level okay really big resistance here golden pocket horizontals uh we've got the 0 0.5 just below the wick of this region the upward sloping trend line here for a potential rising wedge the the middle of the actual channel itself which you are not back down below uh, so all in all there's a big level of resistance there okay and if you look at litecoin litecoins obviously fell down today uh ethereum actually holding up really well ethereum's held up really well i'm not going to lie uh but a, a litecoin not so much okay so litecoin's obviously coming down to that weekly again um yeah not looking too good for litecoin at this moment in time but you know the correlation between that is obviously litecoin weakness somewhat could give you an indication that you are going to see bitcoin weakness and actually get a rejection from this level potentially if you follow that correlation strongly enough um but then obviously that that would be your first sort of lookout okay because of the upward sloping support of the parallel and this okay if you obviously lose that if you obviously lose it and start losing that closing below and rejecting well that's obviously a different story and and you're looking down uh in the sh very short term I personally would prefer another leg up because I, <laughs> I'm i still got short positions up here. So I personally would like to see this move up. But just because I want to see the move up doesn't mean it's going to happen. No. Uh, and I would happily... Um, now, I've got the bulk of my shorts filled. You know, if we do start getting rejection, obviously, that would be a take profit area for me if we done this. 
okay because then we will have held this back 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 test okay that is obviously going to be a first uh, potential area top of that okay so whether we bounce and, and do this okay but then i'd be really so basically to to make this really simple for you all you're looking at 10,500 support okay down to a very low of uh, 10 to 50 start closing below that I, I would expect the drop to be fairly swift okay and then on the flip side for resistances as highlighted here 10 7 5 8 short-term resistance it's not a major resistance but still it's holding price down at the moment uh, up to 10 9 10,950, let's just say, 10,950, okay, then if you start closing above that, you've got 11k, 11.2, okay, so it is like a, an area, personally, I would be more comfortable here day trading, rather than building an exact position at this exact level, I'd be much more confident, uh, you know, day trading this, rather than trying to build like a, an exact position at an exact level, okay, I'm doing this in a laddered way, uh, very um, methodical, uh, methodical, that's the right word, Meth methods, Let's move on swiftly. Um, I, I, I can think of a word in my head, but it's not coming out. Very systematically, I guess. You know, I've got my plan and I'm sticking to it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Obviously, I'm looking at it as a bearish uh, stance. But, you know, if we do get that move up to the 618, I'd be more than happy. Uh, so, 11.2, 11.3, that would be top for me. Okay, if you start closing above that, I would, would reassess and, and say I've been invalidated. And, and obviously, take a loss. And I'm more than happy to take a loss on the trade. But, um, yeah, that's where I'll be looking up to max uh, drawdown for me. Okay, before I admit that I was wrong on the analysis. Uh, but until that happens, I'm still, you know, really, all we can, all, all I can say is we closed above this level, we got expansion up to the hourly, this is traded as one would expect, okay, and if we do clear this uh, 10.5, I'd look up to the 6.18, where I would still am expecting a rejection in this region, okay, and we'll see if that comes in the form of a rejection down to the old uh, resistance and it, and it flips into support, or whether it actually does this and, and breaks down okay so that's really what i'm trading over the next say 48 hours um well possibly we could move sideways a little bit here but i would expect this to get a decision above the 0 0.5 or down below here within 48 hours so um yeah, I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. Just a quick update for you all to just say how I've been trading this, how I'm still looking to trade this. And uh, yeah, my plan of trading Bitcoin specifically over the next uh, few days. So thank you everybody for watching. If you have enjoyed, I'd really appreciate a like or a share. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Cheers. Goodbye.